What is going on everybody? The Lazy Ghost, aka Excalibur, aka Arthur, uh, subbing in for Jesse this week, uh, bringing you the TLTPG Battle of the Week. Um, this week we have a match between Alejandro and Jesse. Um, the reason I am doing the recap this week is that we did not let Jesse pick the Battle of the Week. Um, so if you're thinking, oh man, this, this is rigged, Jesse won because he's the uh, person who picks Battle of the Week. Um, we, 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 we put put some things in order so that uh, Jesse couldn't rig up the league like he likes to. So uh, I'm going to be doing a recap of how this battle went. Uh, I'm going to play it and kind of give my objective on uh, you know how I thought the battle went, who made the right play, um, and all that fun stuff. So uh, before we hop into the battle, just a little bit of context. This is week one of the Lonely Draft League, uh, season six. Uh, Alejandro and Jesse are both in the same division, so they will play each other twice. They play uh, the first time, week one, and uh, this is uh, the first of a two-game set. Looks to be a pretty good rivalry between the two guys. Obviously, it's Battle of the Week, so it was close. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hop into this. Um, well, I guess I should go over the teams first. Uh, Alejandro is sporting a team of Klefki, Delmice, Megalopunny, Darmanitan, Latias, and Gastrodon. Uh, while Jesse is sporting a team of Excadrill, Ty Tyrantrum, Regice, Blacephalon, Miltank, and Gardevoir. Uh, so, pretty good match. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click play here, and we are going to jump into things. Um, you know, in terms of win conditions, it looks like Excadrill is the thing that's going to bring home the game uh, for Jesse. Uh, he leads that off because it just it puts so much pressure on Alejandro's team. Uh, while Alejandro is going to lead with Klefki. Uh, now, if Klefki is carrying spikes, uh, which it will reveal in this first turn, that is really good uh, because, as you can see, Jesse has all of his Pokemon sitting on the ground and uh, they do not want to take uh, ground type damage. So, whole team affected by spikes, uh, Excadrill, Tyrantrum, uh, will, and Blacephalon will be taking. Uh, uh, damage increase uh, on the switch into spikes. So he gets one layer of spikes as Excadrill goes for the Sandstorm, increasing its speed, and he is going to go for the Earthquake, uh, expecting that Clef Key to stay in and chunk it for big damage. But uh, Alejandro reads that well, goes into his Delmice to soak up that ground type attack, uh, grass resisting ground types, and he reveals that he has a leftover set. Uh, so now the sand turns are ticking down. Uh, and Jesse clicking the win button early on, going for that Steelium Z Z move. And uh, just so that you know, Jesse practices the Steelium Z dance at least two or three times a week. Uh, so chances are he did the dance while he actually did the move in game. Uh, good job for you, Jesse. But we're going to see this corkscrew crash hit Delmice right in the face. And is it going to be enough to knock it off? Of course it is, because it is Z move from Exudrill. So Delmice goes down, uh, which is not looking good. Now Latias is really the only thing uh, that can go toe to toe with Exudrill. Uh, so Latias comes in, and uh, yeah, Jesse goes for an Iron Head here, trying to get that flinch. Takes it down to under half, which is not good for Alejandro, uh, as he goes for a Reflect type. Uh, Reflective could work out based on the coverage moves that Jesse has here. Uh, as you're going to see, the leftovers bring Latias above half health. Uh, the next turn, we see the Brick Break come out and take down that Reflective Latias again. Reflective just copies the user's uh, types, so it turned Latias into a ground steel type with Levitate, which is pretty cool. But Excadrill packing that Brick Breaker there, uh, so some some good uh, good. Good move choice by Jesse for this week. Uh, Mega Lopunny is going to Mega Evolve, trying to force this Exodrill to switch out. Uh, but uh, Jesse makes the read here for Fake Out. Uh, really, really ballsy read, uh, especially with Exodrill being a win condition early on. Uh, but he makes the right read, takes the Fake Out here, uh, gets flinched, takes negligible damage. The following turn, a um, little questionable, takes a Drain Punch to the face. He's going to lose Exodrill and one of his win conditions uh, faints. So very good for Alejandro, who's having to crawl back into this match. Uh, would have liked to seen Jesse make a more conservative play with a 6-4 uh, lead this early on in the game, but he knows this because I have 
uh, trash talk him a little bit already. So Gardevoir comes in and reveals that it is the trace set. So it is going to trace Scrappy. And Alejandro misses the read here and takes a Scarf Psy Shock right to the face with his low punny. Uh, chances are if you're bringing in a base 60 or base 65 defense uh, Pokemon like Gardevoir, can't remember exactly what it is, on a low punny that is a physical attacker, it's Scarf. Uh, but Alejandro um, gets uh, a little bit... Uh, he gets Gardevoir, uh, no, no easy way around it right there, and uh, his low punny goes down, so things are not looking good for Alejandro. Uh, he just chose for the Earthquake here, pretty easy read, everything's on the ground. Uh, if he is Scarf Darmanitan, which I know he is, but Jesse doesn't, um, Earthquake's going to hit everything for pretty good damage. Uh, for some reason, Jesse brings in his Blacephalon, and um, he just loses Blacephalon early to an Earthquake from Darmanitan. Uh, Miltank then comes in. Miltank probably was the switch that he should have gone with originally, uh, just because it, it, it's there to tank physical hits and figure out what kind of item that Darmanitan is. Uh, Miltank probably identifies that he's a Scarf at this point, goes for Thunder Wave. I'm going to have to go really fast to catch up. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Miltank goes for Thunder Wave. Gastrodon's not going to have anything happen to it because it is a ground type, and it's just going to Scald Miltank right back in the face. Um, the damage it did with Scald right there probably uh, denotes that uh, Miltank is a physically defensive set as opposed to a specially defensive set uh, because it took significant damage there from the Scastrodon and it gets the burn uh, so you know Scald best move in the game for singles uh, it seems like one out of every two Scalds gets a burn uh, Gastrodon comes in pretty good switch if he predicts the water move because um, I'm sorry Gardevoir can uh, trace Storm Drain and uh, soak up that water move but Alejandro predicts that he's in a position where he has to make really hard reads to try to catch up in this match so he goes for the earth power uh, hits the Gastrodon for some good damage here, bringing it under half health. Uh, Mudbutt would switch up at this point and go into the Boo Boo Keys. Alejandro, uh, you had excellent nicknames this week. Um, Gardevoir goes for the Energy Ball, which uh, Klefki resists, so not going to take a whole lot of damage there. And Klefki is going to do what Klefki does and go for the Thunder Wave here, I believe. Let's see, was that right? No, it's going to go for spikes. Spikes make sense. If he gets three layers of spikes, this game's going to be pretty close to over because Darmanitan can come back in and just start killing stuff. So, gets a second layer of spikes. He's going to switch out. Uh, he is going to go into the mud butt. Um, and uh, Tyrantium is going to miss a head smash here. Um, I guess he was predicting Darmanitan to come in, um, but both Klefki and Gastrodon resist head smash, so not exactly sure. Uh, what his thinking was, if he tries to catch the Darmanitan there, it goes down. But that's a pretty risky switch to make. Uh, Miltank's going to come in, take those spikes, and take an Earth Power. And it is going to go down. These spikes are absolutely doing work at this point. Uh, so good prep on Alejandro's part. Uh, Gastrodon is going to Nom Nom on those leftovers and uh, gain a little bit of health back. And Gash, or I'm sorry, I keep calling it Gastrodon, but Gardevoir is going to come back in. He will trace Storm Drain, and now it is Gastrodon versus Gardevoir here. Uh, Gastrodon is going to switch out. And in, come, in will come the Boo Boo Keys now. Uh, so good switch there by Alejandro as uh, Gardevoir just goes for a Shadow Ball. Uh, so Alejandro's got to be thinking at this point, I just need to, uh, you know, not necessarily get rid of the item, but get rid of the speed on this Gardevoir. So it's going to go for Thunder Wave here, crippling that Scarf Gardevoir and making it so that uh, if for some reason Gardevoir was faster than Darmanitan, even though they're both Scarf, uh, now Darmanitan can come in and kill the Gardevoir without risking taking a hit. Uh, Klefki reveals that it is Citrus Berry here, so it is going to recover a little bit of health uh, since that Shadow Ball dropped its, uh, its special defense. And uh, nice tech here by Alejandro, going for the Recycle, uh, giving Klefki a recovery move should be, um, I won't say it should be banned, I'm just trying to be, uh, let's see, he goes for Shadow Ball here. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be banned, I, I kind of got lost in the middle of my uh, two thoughts there. Uh, it's, it's really good tech, uh, really good part on Alejandro for bringing it this week. Klefki really did work in stopping Tyrantrum. Um, so just having something there is like a dedicated Tarantrum check with Thunder Wave, uh, Recycle, and uh, Spikes. That's really good tech for this week. Uh, Gastrodon's going to come in and take that Shadow Ball. Uh, he knows it's Scarf. He knows he can't go for the Energy Ball, so that's a really good read by Alejandro there. Uh, now that Gastrodon's in, it can take down this Gardevoir if it would like to uh, with uh, just recovering and 
firing off some earth powers. Uh, it's going to do just that. It's going to go for earth power and take down the Gardevoir here. Uh, Jesse is now down to his last two Pokemon, which are Tyrantrum and Regice. And Alejandro is down to his last three Pokemon, Klefki, Darmanitan, and Gastrodon. So Regice is going to come in here. It is going to take the spikes and it is going to set up Hail. Um, and the following turn, it was set up a Roar of Ale. Uh, so it is in here to try and win the game by just, uh, you know, getting some freeze hacks, getting some blizzards off. Uh, Gastrodon goes for the Toxic here, which is a really good play. Uh, I think Regice, the last time I checked, had 200 special defense. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but this thing is specially bulky. So being able to wear it down with something like Toxic, especially in the event that it has some sort of berry to recover with, is going to help it uh, wear down a lot quicker. Uh, Alejandro really can just sit here and click Scald and recover, uh, so he doesn't risk getting frozen here. Uh, so Regice goes for the Aurora Veil here. And uh, I believe Gastrodon starts off by firing off a Earth Power. No, it goes for the Recover, so good play there. Get a full health, um, you know, potentially stop the chance of a, a Freeze uh, really putting you in a bad position. And uh, the good thing is Regice doesn't get Freeze Dry, so it's not going to be able to one-hit KO this Gastrodon. Uh, Gastrodon's going to heal up to full with Leftovers, as Regice is about 85-75% eh, health right here. Uh, Regice fires off the first blizzard, of course that hits every time in the hail, uh, brings, it does about 40%, so pretty good damage, it is going to be a 3 hit KO on the Gastron, so it can simply just recover stall, and that's what it needs to do here, just so that it doesn't get a, uh, a really unfortunate freeze. And the Toxic will whittle Regice down a little bit. And the following turn, uh, Regice goes for another blizzard. Gets the crit, and gets the freeze. Um, <laughs> really bad luck there. Thankfully, uh, Gastrodon will just recover that damage off and uh, get back to around 50% health uh, after the leftovers inhale. Uh, Ice Body is gener or, uh, Ice Body's pretty much just, you know, giving some kind of passive recovery back to Regice, uh, but with that Toxic, it's not really doing enough. Uh, to keep it around in the game long enough to try to win this game. Uh, Jesse really needs a freeze, and uh, he needs a fast. So uh, Gastron's going to switch out. I'm sure he doesn't want to get frozen again. Klefki can come in because it can just eat those ice stacks. Uh, we see another blizzard come off from Regice, which will bring Klefki down to 2 HP. Uh, so just barely hanging on as the hail stops. Uh, Toxic is going to take Regice down uh, to one more, one more turn. As Klefki using that recycle one more time, getting the citrus berry and recovering up some health here. Uh, so the recycle citrus berry tech uh, worked brilliantly. Uh, you don't really expect Klefki to kind of stay around late in games because it doesn't get access to reliable recovery. Uh, but Alejandro showing that he has ways to adapt and overcome, uh, and uh, just excellent team building this week by Alejandro. Uh, Regice is going to go down to the toxic damage, and that is going to bring in Tyrantrum here. Uh, Klefki just, you know, really walls Tyrantrum, but at the health that it's at, even a head smash is going to take it out at this point. Uh, so Klefki is just going to go for the Thunder Wave and cripple this Tyrantrum so that, uh, you know, Gastrodon has a chance to come in and Earth Power it. Uh, it still outspeeds Gastrodon even with the Thunder Wave because of the new Gen 7 mechanics because it's not, you know, lowering its speed 75%, it's only lowering it by half. Uh, so Tyrantrum is still faster than the Gastrodon at this point. Um, and Darmanitan can now come in and click Earthquake and uh, hope for a kill here. Uh, it does need a crit because uh, Tyrantrum does have such high uh, physical defense here. Goes for the Earthquake. It is not going to crit. It's going to leave him with about eh, roughly 35% as uh, Tyrantrum goes for the Head Smash here. Uh, because it is running the ability that I can't think of right now, uh, a Reckless, That's what. It, or is it Reckless? It's not going to take recoil damage from the head smash. Sorry, I can't remember off my head, top of my head what the ability is. I believe it's Reckless. Um, but uh, Gastronon's going to come in now. And uh, we see the head smash come off from Tyrantrum. I'm guessing it's banded, or else it wouldn't have used Rock Smash there. And uh, Gastronon is going to be able to just click Earth Power. And because Tyrantrum's special defense is so low, Earth Power is going to be enough to knock it out. Uh, so, wonderful game by Alejandro. He, I mean, he lost Latias, he lost Delmice really early. Um, so the two things that he had to stop Excadrill, he lost 
early and still managed to just crawl his way back into this game and win. So congratulations to Alejandro. Um, uh, battle of the week this week. You are going to get that $5, my man. And um, yeah, Steven should be sending that to you in the form of pennies. So just check for uh, the mail. It's going to be a pretty heavy bag. Uh, thanks so much for watching this week. I uh, should have Jesse returning next week. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching and have a good rest of the day, TLTPG. Later.